Is your attitude producing what you want in your life? Is your belief system producing the right things in your life? How many of you are married here today? Let me ask you this. How many of you have had just a random fight with your spouse and you don't even know where it came from? You didn't plan it out. You had no strategy. You didn't go into the war room and plan it. It just happened. There's a reason for that. And I'm going to show you what the reason is and what the solution is. Do you like the circumstances and events of your life right now? Do you want more for tomorrow and the next day and the next year and the next year? I'm going to show you how developing the mind of Christ will help catapult you to new levels and new dimensions in your leadership. Whether it's business leadership, ministry leadership, whatever kind of leadership God has called you to. You see, when the old life seems to take over, you see, when you're born again, you get a new spirit. Your spirit man is born again. Your mind is not born again, neither is your body born again. If you were 300 pounds, when you accepted Jesus, three minutes later, you were still 300 pounds. That didn't change, did it? You still had thought patterns of the world. So it's not your spirit that's really having the problem. It's something else. And that something else is in the area of the soul or the mind. And so the old life, how many of you have ever had the old life take over every now and then? Old thoughts, old patterns, old habits. Of course, we've all had that. When the children of Israel went into the promised land, you know, you would think, God promised them this land flowing with milk and honey. There's all kinds of wealth there and riches, and you're going in. I've promised it to you. And they get in there, and what do they have to do? They've got to fight their way. they got to cast out the old and make it new, even in the promised land. And maybe you've tried to break past failures and past patterns that that have held you back and hurts, but you can't seem to do it. You pray, you cry, and you wonder why don't things change? Why? Because we have a history that's programmed into us. 